What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have another low key streetwear brands unboxing video. This is a bunch of clothing accessories and a whole bunch of goodies that I've accumulated either sent to me or acquired by me from a bunch of emerging brands that I would love to let you guys know a bit more about. And I just got so many of them. I haven't done one of these in a very long time and I love putting you guys onto some new brands or even some ones that I haven't talked to you guys about in a very long time because I haven't had any of their new pieces in, but I'm excited to show all of these to you guys once again. These videos tend to do very really well on the channel and you guys love to see new emerging independent smaller brands all that to say before we get into the video into the meat and potatoes make sure to like this video if you guys haven't already and subscribe if you're new follow the boy on instagram g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e -E, is where you can keep in touch with me more frequently i post fit pics this and that so that's what you can check out on there and before we get even further into this video the first thing we're going to start off with as the first emerging brand is JBW, which is a timepiece company. They were kind enough to send me their new product called the Arc. It's the first new product they've released in two years, the first new collection in two years. This new collection takes inspiration from the fluid concept of time, designed and aimed to redefine the definition of time itself. To me personally, time is endless and it's not about the time that you have, it's more about what you do with it and how you cherish the time that you possess and all of those intricacies and valuable moments. And I I feel like with time pieces, it's, it's a very great way of encapsulating that ideology. All that to say, JBW was kind enough to send in this time piece. Uh, I, I've showed a piece from JBW in the past, I believe last year, but this is a whole new collection, JBW right here. This matted out rubberized matte black box. I'm gonna get into this piece right here. We got this beautiful, classy time piece on our hands right here, people. Got this authenticity card and diamond verification card. Featured on this piece, we have this hidden push button clasp on the back. Push that and it releases it from the holder. And then we have the time piece itself. And this features 12 genuine diamonds. And I believe you can find that in the face of the product. I wanna get some more detail right there. Beautiful, beautiful piece right here, you guys. Love how elegant it is. It's very small, so it's dainty, but yet still very masculine of course you could like class this up you put this on and you're instantly very very classy i must say very easy to throw on so like i was saying before it features 12 genuine diamonds and i believe you could find that in the face of the timepiece um easier to show this way it's obviously upside down but 12 diamonds can be found in the face and then the rest is 869 crystals it can be find found all around the watch itself they glisten quite nicely and of course in the sun they be dancing like crazy um i wore this to a shoot recently and everyone was like so taken aback by the watch like everyone was just like what the hell like kyron how'd you pull up stun like that what the hell's going on time pieces are a timeless and classic accessory that could obviously elevate and make an outfit a whole lot more elegant it's like one of the best accessories to do that and this piece is unisex so a woman could wear it i could wear it, it doesn't really matter um i find it perfect for my style because i don't really love huge watches i find my wrist is pretty tiny so it looks perfect on my wrist personally and if you guys are curious to check out out jbw you guys could use my discount code which is kyron all caps dash 25 it'll be plastered on the screen exactly how to spell it and if you use that discount code you will get 25 dollars off of your order all of the links and everything could be found in the description box below so definitely go make sure to go check that out if you're interested in getting a timepiece for yourself so big shout out to jbw i really appreciate them for sending this my way love the watch i'm going to keep it on for the rest of the video and shout out to jbw time loop the arc, all of that. Appreciate you guys once again. We're gonna go on to the next items in this video. So the first items of clothing that we have are from the lovely people over at his studio, Nixon. My lovely friend, Andres, was kind enough to send a little care package. This is a great brand because it's not necessarily just like them that's making the clothes. They're kind of an online boutique for smaller Korean and I believe Japanese brands at very affordable prices. So if you guys enjoy those silhouettes but don't want to break the bank, this is a great option for you. I love the cuts that they personally 
personally sourced out of the brands that they select and curate for a studio Nixon, the online boutique. And they were kind enough to send me a cardigan and these wide denims. Um, I've personally been styling wide denims a whole lot. And I think that's something that I'm going to be wearing a whole lot into spring and summer, which is why we have this spring low-key streetwear brands haul for you guys today. So you guys could get a little glimpse as to what I'm gonna be acquiring for this upcoming couple of seasons. All that to say, this is from the brand Red Deer, I believe. Red, Red Ear. <laughs> I, I, why did I say Red Deer? Red Ear, based out of Seoul. This is called the standard issue. I believe they must have other issues. So designed out of, out of Korea, made in Korea. I did not know that. And it's sourced with, with US materials. My bad. I'm butchering all of this just because like, this is my first time looking into the actual product itself, like when it comes to the tags. But when I threw these on for the first time, I was like, geez, the cut of this is immaculate. The Koreans are just on a whole other wave when it comes to uh, clothing itself. Like I just keep on getting more and more impressed with everything that's coming out of Korea right now. Uh, they're like neck and neck with Japan as far as like some of the clothing that I've been seeing that's been really uh, fascinating me and, and making me appreciative of the garments that are coming out of these places. Uh, but uh, yeah, I love the cut of these. They kind of like balloon out, but they're really wide and interesting. So if you guys are interested in any type of wide denims, this is definitely for you. Make sure you go check them out. They're phenomenal. And like I said, very affordable for what you get out of products like that. A Studio Nixon really makes sure to like have like very affordable stuff and uh, relatively greatly priced items at the same time. The same thing, my bad. <laughs> but also the things sell out very fast. So if you guys see a drop by a Studio Nixon, make sure to go check them out because things fly very quickly on there. The next piece from a Studio Nixon is this brand called Slower. That's what it can be found in this bag. So let's try to get this out. So this is supposed to be a cardigan with a little zipper, which I have yet to ever have something like this. So this is the slower tag and that's like from the actual brand itself. And then this is the Studio is Studio Nixon tag, which is the online boutique I had mentioned to you guys before. They're based out of Montreal, carry home goods, um, like I said, clothing before. And they're just very like innovative in the way that they present themselves. I've never seen another online boutique that's done to the extent that they've done and I've worked alongside them since the very start. So it's beautiful to see what they've blossomed into over the years. So this is a, like I said, a black zipper cardigan, really nice ribbing on the knit here. And I love the cut once again, very cropped and wide. This is gonna be a great piece into the spring time. This with a little like tank top below would be insane. Love the pockets as well. Gives me kind of like a, uh, Yoji vibes a little bit, if that makes sense. Can't really see that, but yeah, that's the pocket at the bottom. Perfect for like a little iPhone or a water bottle, whatever you want to put in there. And yeah, love the zipper idea instead of buttons because that's very common for cardigans. But yeah, like I said, very unique. Price point is amazing. And I believe that is based out of Korea as well. I wasn't able to check the tag, but believe it's either Japan or Korea for most of the product that they carry over on this studio, Nixon. So make sure to go check them out. Amazing stuff once again. And we're going to go into the next piece, which is by Trevor Gorgi. I haven't gotten uh, some pieces from Fugazi as of recent, but Trevor and I were talking and he's like, yo, I actually got to send you out something. I haven't, it's been a while and I've seen these floating around the internet. I haven't seen them in person yet. So I'm really excited to see how they are. I'm acting as if I haven't seen them before. Of course, I took a little peek, but it's from his brand called Fugazi. Of course, you guys are sleeping under a rug if you haven't heard about Fugazi before, but this is the inside. Very beautiful brand, a lot of attention to detail. I believe all of his shoes are made out of Portugal nowadays. You have the little penny motif on the paper right there. And these are his penny loafers that like have like this brushed treatment that make it look like a little bit like distressed, which is really, really cool. It looks like you've been like wearing them for a couple of years already, but like have a white base and then that like leather over dye treatment to it. So it catches on all like the little nooks and grannies, but really beautiful 
shoe. I don't think I've ever seen a loafer exactly like this. Very unique. The red guts, got this in a size 11, the Fugazi on the inside. Just everything's executed flawlessly, like super, super clean. Neck and neck with like a luxury shoe. Could not tell me any different. It has Trevor's little chrome, chrome colored penny on the inside of there. Just funny, you could pull it out, but I don't really want to. It says Fugazi and I believe the year. 2022 in there or something and of course what would it be without the vibram or vibram whatever you want to call it a uh, thick lug so thick lug so so these when it comes to spring when you think of spring you think of loafers low top shoes whatever it may be you transition out of the boots you start putting on loafers low profile shoes other things of that nature so i'm really excited to throw these on with some of the pants that i've been acquiring over the winter and yeah just loafers are amazing especially in the summertime this with like a little nice wine picnic come on done deal that's summertime right there summertime and spring what could be better on to the next piece continuing with the la gang jacob was kind enough to send me this jacket from his recent collection or recent release jacob wallace if you guys haven't seen his videos or seeing his content or seeing his brand you are also sleeping under a rock because these are all the homies homie brands as my boy drew joiner likes to say but yeah you gotta support the homies you gotta put on for what these beautiful brands are making nowadays like look at look at like just the hue of this brown and to make a puffer jacket is not easy people uh this is one of my favorites just because it's a bit more on the slimmer side uh, in terms of puffer jackets that i own most of my puffers are like super dramatic and very oversized this is a bit more on like the tailored side which i really enjoy so like putting this with like a, a, a sleeker pair of trousers like when i have uh or de or denim uh when i wear my unsound rags uh private label denim because i sold my first levi's because they weren't fitting me properly but the jet black iteration of those like the the way that they're so slim and sleek paired with a jacket like this it's like uniform that's like literally like end of winter ushering into spring that's exactly what i would wear like greedy boots the unsound rags denim with this little jacket right here and some type of like beanie of sorts come on now and a, like a little tank top to counterbalance it a little bit that would be sick Six, six really dope i've seen like a couple of little little uh little people wearing this recently so i'm not too sure if this is still available but for a puffer jacket i remember this being very very fairly priced and yeah just amazing amazing piece especially for the price and jacob just makes amazing things you guys are sleeping and thinking crazy if you guys don't pick up any of Jacob's stuff because like the price point for what he puts out is just like amazing like you guys are definitely definitely sleeping if you haven't picked up any of Jacob's stuff one of my favorite shorts that I wear in the summer is by Jacob and yeah his, his ecosystem of, of uh, product is just very efficient as well everything kind of works well with one another so yeah the last piece another YouTube brand this is the first time in a long time that I've picked up something from this brand the last thing I got was the yellow cardigan from from this brand and this is bare knuckles the infamous cropped cashmere sweater i purchased this because this is one of the pieces that when jacob keller dropped this the first time around i was like i, I wasn't able to drop the amount of money that it was but i'm so happy that he came full circle and came back to drop this again because the people were asking for this piece it's like a staple for anyone in their closet a black cashmere sweater with this type of cut and detailing it's just like every man needs this type of piece you know what i mean like it's super soft super wearable very mature but also very youthful at the same time and just phenomenal quality great cut it just every it checks every box and i'm just really excited to have it and to use it in my wardrobe but yeah in general i was just happy to like support jacob keller because like he came up in the same era of youtube at, that i have like and i don't know if some of you guys have even heard of him because it's like there's always like new generations of people coming in to youtube land all the time and like just whether you be a consumer or you're eventually going to be a content curator whatever it may be jacob keller is like one of the like og og goaded youtubers and um i came into youtube around the same time as him you know what i mean so it's crazy to like think back to 
that era with like Karma Loop Plunder, all of that to see some of the products that he's making in modern day is just amazing. So really salute Jacob Keller for all that he's doing with Bare Knuckles, phenomenal quality, amazing brand. And I'm gonna be wearing that sweater a whole lot. So all that being said, thank you guys for watching once again. I really appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Make sure to go check out JBW. All the links and everything could be found in the description box below. Make sure to go use my discount code. I'll flash it on the screen once again. All that being said, make sure to go like this video if you haven't already subscribe if you're new follow the boy on instagram g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e -E is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently i post fit pics this and that so that's what you can check out on there i'm gonna see you guys on the next one before i get out of here make sure to leave a comment below let me know what was your favorite piece and what you guys are going to be wearing this coming spring is it going to be some low-key streetwear brands is it going to be some lux let me know are you dripping the product are you dripping nada let me know what it is okay i'm out of here peace